Do not get money. Ah, <sighs> one life to live. I'm not even sure if I posted a video about today's episode. Try to try to think about what today's episode was about. Oh no, I fell asleep right after today's episode was uh, was finished. Yeah, staying up all night and uh, sleeping during the day. It's actually why I'm drinking at night too, because obviously it's my afternoon, my before I go to sleep. It's really your 4 a.m. It's my 4 p.m. So technically, I'm still kind of 57 minutes early. If you think about it. Stand up for uh, stand up late for me means I stay up at like one o'clock in the afternoon. Go, man, it's so late. Everyone looks at me all messed up. It's pretty funny. I'm just joking. Usually I go to sleep like three in the morning, uh, three in the afternoon. See, it's my morning, but that way I can catch one night to live. And I, I I even forgot what the hell happened on today's episode. I know I watched today's Destiny episode. Destiny told. Oh yeah, um, Destiny's Destiny's big brother found out Matt Matt. Might have knocked her out. Oh, so Matthew, stay in the coma a few more years. Give uh, give that big dude some time to calm down because. And I'm not saying this because oh my god, it's a big scary black guy. No, it's a big fucking guy. I don't care what color he is. If he's blue, he's a big fucking guy. I mean, that guy looks like he could knock out Mike Tyson with a single punch. The guy looks like he's a he bodyguard. Could... Yeah, and he's a bodyguard. Matthew's got some guts. To, to you know, Destiny can verify that. Yeah, to tag, uh, to tag Destiny like that, you know, so, it's a love thing. But um, but yeah, I mean, anybody that goes after and starts dating the guy's sister and the guy's a bodyguard and the guy's that big, I mean, he honestly looks like he could go in a wrestling ring and just beat the sh Nikes out of everybody in there. So, good job, Matthew, man. You've got guts. And I noticed on my last video, people commented, yeah, Brody sucks, I can't wait till John kicks his ass. Um, and to clear up, no, I didn't like Star's dress on Star. I just said Star's dress showed too much cleavage. I wish Blair was wearing a dress like that. Because, let's face it, I'm just a pervert. Which is not to be confused with a prevert, which they would like to see Star in that kind of dress at my age. Unless they were younger than me, that just makes him a pervert. Anywho. We're gonna go. Blow me. That was my sister. Anyhow, <laughs> she's not really going to do it. But anyhow, <laughs> anyway, you didn't need to know that. I'm saying this because, oh, um, yeah, the damn uh, premiere ended up being the sex tape between, uh, um, yeah, Nate and Dina, which, if anybody saw that one come and you were just either psychic or you read the spoilers or snuck on the website like they did in that Scream 2 thing. Well, I know or you're just really think, smart. I didn't think it would come out that soon. Yeah. Like, everyone knew it was going to come out, but not that soon. And I agree with people on one of my videos. Some some person put a bunch of questions. Why why uh, hasn't anyone found out that uh, Natalie... Uh, no, that Brody isn't the father of Liam, that actually John is. How come, like, everyone in the town is starting to figure this out but John and Natalie? Uh, why did uh, Dina and uh, Nate have sex to get where Dina's parents were? Couldn't she have just gone on Ancestry.com? That was one of my favorite comments. She was adopted. Shut up. <laughs> it's supposed to be a comment, my mother, if you just heard her. He's supposed to be an kid. We, we get that, but it's supposed to be a joke. It's supposed to be something funny. And uh, Nate didn't want anyone to know that he punched Matthew. And it's responsible for his current predicament, uh, which it's going to eventually come out into the light. I'd rather let everyone know first because it's just a pride issue with me. I mean, if I if I punch somebody and they get hurt to that extent, and then I find out the kid, you know, knocks somebody up, which he still doesn't know. But if I found that out, I'd feel like a real class A douchebag, and I'd have to turn myself in. By the way, I wasn't doing an A or a C or anything. I just put my hand up for no reason. Going back down. Part of time, I talk with my hands. If I didn't have hands, I'd be mute. Anyway, moving along. Crap, what else was on my life to live today? Uh, cover that, cover that, cover that. Oh, uh, Rex. Well, I don't think that was today. I think that was yesterday. He was about to shoot somebody. Still can't believe that was going to happen. Which he knew he wasn't going to shoot anybody. He couldn't. Then he kind of went and saw Gigi. I think it's going to be her sister's Casey. 
great. Gigi has a sister. Oh, that's right. Gigi has a sister because she wanted uh, something about a bone transplant um, in order for Gigi's sister to give which bone marrow. Bone marrow. That's right. She needed to give bone marrow to Shane, Shane which is Gigi's and uh, Rex's son. Rex had to go with uh, Gigi. Had to break up with Gigi sp yeah, they had to break up. Gigi and uh, Rex had to break up. Which do you think? That what the hell is that person's name? Stacy. Stacy would get plastic surgery because let's face it, there I did it on my children, and someone just looked like uh, uh, Erica Kane. Getting off subject, but oh well. Um, would Stacy try to look like Gigi to mess with what's his name's head? Does Stacy know that Gigi's dead? Does she want to still wiggle her way back into um, Rex's life? Is she that obsessed with him? Quite possibly. Am I a loser for following soaps and asking this many questions about it? But I can't remember anyone's name, but I can remember all the situations yeah. they've been in. Shut up. She said yes. I don't care. I like soaps. I mean, to me, it's a good show. I don't know why people make fun of it. Uh, people can watch wrestling, and I, I, I mock wrestling in the slightest bit, and people get mad. So, I'm not going to get mad if people make fun of me for watching soaps. I watch soaps. Yeah. So, if you heard that, my sister said gay, and I just looked at her and I said, no. But, I find it fascinating, uh, the scripts, the stories, the people, how they how they interact with everybody, how they have people. I mean, because you, you can knock soaps all you want, but you have, to, you have to think of one thing. They shoot five shows a week. I mean, you look at shows that have run for years, Friends, uh, Seinfeld, fucking, um, that ran, that ran for a few years, all those shows, any show you want to bring up, I mean, you can bring up any show you want, they ran a show a week, and that was it, and obviously they start filming, they don't just, they don't do the whole show in a week, or they might do the whole show in a week, I haven't looked into it, but in order to do a soap opera, you shoot five shows a week, so it's not like they can... Uh, pick between 30 different shots, like, alright, this one's good, let's do that. So it's not their acting, it's not soap opera actors, because th I've been thinking about it more and more now. It's not soap opera actors aren't as good as regular actors, it's the fact that regular fucking actors have 30, 40 takes for one shot, and in a soap, if you take 30, 40 shots for, uh, 30, 40 takes for one shot, that show's never going to make it in the next day. So, screw you. Show those bastards some respect because I'm sure they work a hell of a lot harder than you, and they actually get followed and stalked by people. I stalk Todd. And I would stalk Todd. <laughs> yes. a Just because he's one of my favorite characters on One Life to Live, Lion Face Todd, not New Todd, even though New Todd is a, is he he's been in a few good movies. But I have to say, it's like trying to replace Vincent Price in horror movies. The next person in line is just screwed. Let's just face it. It's like trying to replace Anthony Hopkins as Anthony Hopkins as Hannibal Lecter. You just screwed. And ask Keith Ledger when he took over the Joker. Oh! Zing! Too soon. But I'm just joking. He actually did a good job. But any actor that comes into a role is, is inevitably doomed because, I mean, how many... The longer you do a role... The longer you're in tune with that role, the longer people see you as that role. And then someone else takes over the reins, yeah, he's going to get his ass kicked. I mean, the proverbial ass whopping. Like, does this guy think he is taking over this role? But yeah, I'd have to say overall, he's done a pretty good job. I can't, I'm still, still tweaked to see how they're going to spin this whole thing. Uh, I'm still so happy about, shut up. Twins, my mother just said. So, so, so happy that they had Star meet Todd. How they had the whole interaction. How they had everyone talking. How John's helping them. Um, oh, the... My bad. I apologize about that. The scene where Todd has a towel over his head. And that lady walks in. John, what's going on? John, would you at least talk to me, John? He's just nodding like, yeah, could you go away now? And then he takes off the towel and it's Todd. You know it's Todd. The whole time. Because <laughs> John wouldn't hold a towel over his damn head. But just awkward moments like that where no one bothers to ask any questions about anything. Well, no, John usually doesn't talk to her because, you know, if you start talking to her, she'll, she'll go into a 
Oh, okay, so I guess that is typical. Anyway, <laughs> but I ha still have to say, despite the fact that I've, uh, uh, I've seen some, some questions about people asking some unrealistic stuff, there's still three questions that didn't make any damn sense to me. And I'm going to ask them in order, and all of them happened in the same episode, people. The same exact episode. Question number one. Now, Dorian, when she had her uh, mouth duct taped, she would have died. That duct tape was on her mouth for a while. Mouth I mean, and nose. Mouth and nose. And the woman was like, oh, you can't breathe? And she's like slowly taking it off. It's like if the bomb was counting down from five, four, three. Is the guy going to be like, oh, do, do, do. <laughs> oh, oh, I almost have it. Bitch would have been dead by, by, by the time she got the duct tape off her mouth. Question number two that no one has yet to bring up, even though they brought up all the other unrealistic things. What kind of web was in that spider web thing that Sam flung what's her name to the door with? That it had her stuck to the door and a full grown woman I mean I know you can crack some jokes where it was well it's just a woman, maybe, you know, she just Ah ha 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 ha. I think your soap is kind of sexist because it called her so weak she couldn't get out of a child's toy. And if the web is that <laughs> sticky and that hard you think they'd sell it to kids? That or Michael Jackson would have used it years ago to trap him. Zing! I know, he's dead. But I can still crack jokes. That and... Alright, fine, I'll use it this way then. If that spider web was really that sticky and that effective, they'd be using it at Catholic churches. I mean, to discipline the kids, nothing else. Anyway, and the third question, apart from the from the first two, which were actually real genuinely, how the hell did that happen? She, I mean, I might buy the first one. But the, the third one, as far as uh, all the parties, as far as all the all the murders and everything that apparently happened in Landview, where people are guns this, that guy gets shot, the whole secret agency, one thing kind of stood out. How come nobody ever checks for fingerprints? I mean, if you noticed in the, in the in the crime scenes, like no one asked for a single, no one checks for a single fingerprint anywhere. There's fingerprints don't exist in Landview. DNA tests exist all over the place. I mean, if you want to find out who somebody is, let's DNA test them. But fingerprints, just they're they're, they're fictitious. They're a thing of the past. We don't need them anymore. I mean, a fingerprint test, uh, check could take 20 minutes. Let's not do that. DNA test takes two months. Let's do it that way. Well, it could take up to two months. And that's, that's, no one ever points that out. Like, at the crime scene, when the guys get shot by the, by the, I'm going to say it, he's the real Todd. So, screw you if you don't think so. But when he gets shot by the real Todd, no one ever says, all right, let's check for fingerprints anywhere. They're checking for DNA. Now, did he spit on the body after he shot him? Did he take a leak in the bushes? That They, they actually said it. If, if you watch the episode again, one... Uh, what's the name is talking to them? They were ch talking about checking for DNA. Why wouldn't they check for fingerprints? I mean, I'm sure they'd save just a little bit of time. But no one ever asked that. And those are the three. So, to sum it up, the three questions are uh, the, the one that I believe they could have gotten away with. Why didn't Dorian, um, <laughs> you know, he could breathe in that duct tape? That, I could possibly buy, but the other two, no one ever checks for fingerprints, and that, uh, Spidey, oh, there my fingers go. And only on the second beer, wow. Uh, why weren't the, um, uh, the spider web, how the hell it was so sticky that she actually stuck there, and then it got over her mouth, and it made a perfect web over her mouth where she couldn't... It's, it's kid's toy, it's, it's not actual webbing. Anyway, we're going on 14 minutes and 13 seconds, so... That is all. I'd like to hear any uh, any interesting questions you have. Any interesting questions you have about one life to live and all that good stuff. Post them down below. Post any comments or anything. And I'd like to end this video with the hottest chick on one life to live. Well, I'm not on one life to live. <laughs>